give you a little bit of introduction to myself. My name is Anthony McPartland. I'm a principal analyst in Forrester's sales operations service. And uh, what that really means is that I spend the bulk of my time talking with our clients who are sales ops practitioners, sales ops leaders, sales leaders, sales enablement leaders, helping them think through how they're going to develop, evolve their function and the capabilities that they have within those teams. Right? So it covers the remit of planning, annual planning, sales process design, core process design like account planning, right? How do you develop those kind of capabilities? How do you drive adoption of them through the organization? And then some of the kind of obvious areas around reporting and analysis, right? How do we drive performance measurement and performance accountability in the organization? And the function itself, right? Uh, how do we measure uh, sales operations function? How do we build one? How do we evolve it? How do we make it something that has uh, a greater strategic focus in the organization. It's not just perceived as being the workhorse for the sales organization, which it sometimes can be, right? And, you know, as, as part of that, I think uh, account planning has um, had somewhat of a checkered history in, in the sales organizations, and it's, it still does. And there's some, some good reasons for that. It's changed uh, fairly significantly. Oh, a couple of years ago, it was a very manual, very uh, seller-focused process around data entry and filling in various colored forms, depending on the particular methodology you were using, right? And it really was, I think, from a lot of reps' perspectives and managers, it was, there wasn't enough emphasis on, okay, how are we making strategic decisions around how we grow this business? And I think that's starting to change, right? There's, there's a couple of reasons for it. Technology is obviously one of those reasons, right? It's becoming a lot easier. Um, it's becoming a lot easier for account plans to be maintained, to be shared, to get updated without having to rely exclusively on individual sellers to, uh, to maintain those, which, let's face it, they don't like doing it, right? And... Um, it's the same situation when it comes to CRM systems, right? It's the same similar challenge, getting re overly relying on sellers to provide the, the critical insights that you need to grow the business is not a winning strategy. You need to have an alternative plan, right? You need to be able to augment the insights that they can collect, which are important and have real importance for, for you in terms of understanding where you should go with other signals that you're getting from other areas of your organization and the target organization. And I think as well for a lot of the, the companies that I work with, when they think about account planning, they're starting to think about it as a development process for their sales organization, for their sales reps. That if they're serious about evolving the sales organization, they've got to think about account planning as a core capability to develop within the organization, to develop individual sellers, to get them thinking differently about their customers, get them thinking differently about how they plan, taking a more long-term and more strategic perspective around how they grow business individually, right? Uh, being able to have a structured approach, being prioritized. And obviously that kind of skill set is key to ramping reps, retaining reps, developing them. And especially in the current environment where you know, conditions generally are significantly tougher for, for most companies, right? And actually, just to kind of talk a little bit about that, I just want to share a little bit of data that uh, I just collected in, in Q1. What we really wanted to find out was how were organizations faring, B2B sales organizations, how are they faring in the current environment? What was going on? And how was it impacting their ambitions for the year ahead? So what we found was 66% of those organizations we, we surveyed, they were seeing medium to significant impact on revenue. Probably not surprising, right? What was surprising is how that was impacting their uh, actual goal setting, their target setting for the year ahead. And that's where the data was interesting. So 66% are seeing medium to significant impact, but 86% were increasing the targets anyway and 30% significantly. 
which, now this was US-based data, so again, there may be different perceptions of, of the economic environment and how long it's gonna last for and how deep it's gonna get. But a lot of the, the organizations that, that I'm speaking to, uh, they're having to make significant adjustments in terms of how they uh, go to market. And so it's surprising to see that uh, that kind of uh, ambition is still there uh, for, for 23. Um, so and I think one of the things, that obviously a big factor for organizations is where is that growth going to come from given the conditions? Um, so one of the things we wanted to find out was how were different sales motions getting impacted by what was going on? And so unsurprisingly, it's the new business, the new logo acquisition that is getting impacted. And, and I think that really kind of speaks to why account planning is a critical capability in your organization at any time, but especially in an economic downturn, right? Getting money, get, growing revenues from customers you already have is certainly always easier than, than finding new ones in a time like this.